Hey guys, Rachel from PencilStash.com, Special Stash, Pencil Stash. Thanks so much for joining me today for another adult coloring book tutorial. Today we're actually not going to need any colored pencils. We're going to try a new toy. Uh, we're going to try this white Uniposca marker. And it doesn't have to be white. This is just color that I got, but it comes in all kind of colors of the rainbow. And I got mine for just a couple of bucks on Amazon. Uh, this is actually a neat tool for kind of adding a white layer on top of your coloring book drawings to embellish them. So let's head over to my desk and we'll give it a try. Hey guys, today we're going to be showcasing how we can embellish our standard colored pencil drawings with these uh, Uniposca markers. I'm using a white one today. Um, they are made in Japan and they're water based and they dry to this nice opaque matte kind of finish. So I thought it would be kind of fun to see what we could do with these to kind of bring our, bring our drawings uh, another level of dimension. Let's see how it works. We're going to take a picture from Joanna Basford's Magical Jungle, and I've already made a page for us. I did this yesterday with my daughter. It was snowing out, and we were kind of stuck in the house, so I thought it'd be fun to, uh, to get one set up for us, and we can take this drawing uh, that we've already sort of completed um, and uh, embellish it with the marker. So the first thing that we're going to do is you'll notice that it shakes just like a spray paint can. And I will tell you that, just be careful when you remove the tip, if you've never used these before, like I hadn't. Um, when I removed the tip, I had white paint kind of splatter a little bit. So I would just kind of make sure that you're doing this, you know, kind of remove the, the cap really gently. Don't, you know, pull it apart like crazy. Um, and then you're gonna see that it has the super fine tip. And I'm just gonna show you kind of what it looks like. And it's got a tip that depresses. And you're gonna be able to see that it just glides on really nice and smooth. I don't know if you can see that, um, but it just glides on really nice and smooth. And again, it just sits on top of the colored pencil, so it's not gonna kind of muck with your colors. So let's uh, let's give this a try. So I'm just gonna take my white marker, and it doesn't really matter where you start. Um, <clears throat> but if if I were you, just just because it's still kind of a paint marker. Um, and you don't want to, you know, drag your sleeve in it or smear it. I would, I would kind of start over here and then maybe work your way this way, um, if you can help it at all, just so that you're not dragging your, dragging your sleeve through your pretty artwork. So I've, I've already sort of left some, some white spaces here, in the blue that I kind of wanted to highlight. So I think I'm going to start there. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but it really just sits on top of your already created pencil drawing, and I just really like how opaque it is. And like I said, there's no right or wrong answer, I'm just, I'm just playing. It really gives it a nice like three-dimensional kind of shape and then you can maybe just do some little dots in here and then here again I don't want to drag my sleeve through this so I am just going to take a nice little line and do two little dots and you're just going to have some fun with it no right or wrong answers Take the pen and we'll do, you see how uh, the artist has sort of left us these black dots? Let's go in and try to do them with the white. And you're just going to mimic the same pattern. You can go over them exactly if you can. This marker has a really nice fine tip, so 
you should be able to. I know I've got some over here, but again, I don't want to drag my sleeve in it, so I'm going to be a little bit careful with where I go next. I really like this. This is really cute. And then let's give it some white stripes in here. Add some more dots in here. Now we're going to do something kind of bold, and we're just going to do an entire little outline around the perimeter of this leaf here. I'm actually just going to go right down the middle. Now we're going to do sort of an interesting like Morse code kind of pattern on this one. And you probably just need a little bit of a sturdy hand. So I'm just going to start making some stripes and some dashes. Just make it interesting, play with the shapes. I'm kind of alternating between like one dot, two dots, a line. And again, this is just kind of why you need that, that straight hand so that you're making sure that you're consistent. Blue feathery leaf, but I'm going to go over it with the white, just on the edges. And then I am also just going to create some extra veins here. And you'll kind of notice that it's turning a little bit silver. So if you need to kind of squeeze a little bit more paint out, just go back to your scrap piece and uh, depress the tip and you'll be back to white. I'm not gonna worry too much about the lines matching up. It's all good. And 
not to kind of drag it because this will smear. Um, these are water-based, so they are going to take a little bit longer of a time to dry than maybe some other um, solvent-based markers will. Our chameleon friend is done. What do you guys think? I really like this marker. I've, like I said, I've never used one before, and uh, I think it was a lot of fun to just kind of come in and kind of doodle. And you know, really, the sky's the limit. You can 
can do as much or as little as you want. I think I'll definitely give this another go uh, some other time. So now that your picture is done, I would just uh, encourage you to kind of leave your book open. Don't, don't close your book um, because, again, it might smear, it might get onto the page next door. So just try to leave your book nice and open while it dries. You can probably come back even, even you know, relatively quickly, maybe about a half an hour uh, or an hour, and this should, be, this should be good. But, like, if you touch it right now, it's still a little bit tacky. So I would leave it, again, for probably at least an hour, maybe even overnight, just to make sure. That is it for this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it. I don't know about you, but I'll definitely be adding this Uniposca marker to my bag of tricks. Um, join me next time. Hit that like and subscribe button. You'll actually get notified when I upload new content. And if you'd like to learn more about me and my projects, you can go to pencilstash.com, Facebook, and Instagram. Thanks so much for joining me. Keep coloring. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>